I really miss having a flat chest. That I feel like I don't need them. I think I, I think my nose is proportional. And then walk out of your console without a scheduled appointment. Welcome to my vlog and welcome to a very raw and honest conversation about my girls. And no, I don't have daughters, but I do have my boobs done. It's been a while since we chatted about my breast augmentation and because of the resurgence of the boob job right now, a lot of people have been asking me, how did you recover? How do you feel now, etc. And I wanted to cover one of the questions of how I feel right now. Make sure you comment below, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. So first thing is first, I literally have so much makeup because I always go through these phases of wanting to do my makeup more often, taking time for myself, and then I end up never doing it, which trust me, like I hate myself for. So a few things that I wanna do in the month of March is actually wake up and try to get ready a few times a week. First product that I'm using, I'm actually trying to do my brows first. This is something that I've seen on TikTok, so like we're just gonna rock with it and then you set your base. I've actually been doing a lot of like makeup studies, okay? And the biggest thing people said was with any type of like brow lift like this, you wanna run it through all of your brows. Then what you do is you brush them all up and out. Oh my God, I need to trim these. You can literally see where my microblading <laughs> Imagine if I just left it like this but wait like some of you guys do leave your brows like this are you doing okay because this is not cute there's one thing i've understood about the body makeup anything is that we are always sisters not twins and that the same thing goes for my boobs but i think a lot of what messed him up was breastfeeding look at these brows right now this is always my good brow bitch she's a goodie all right so this is already a mess. I feel like sometimes when I get ready, that's like when my energy flows. That's when I like really think about what's going on. And I just want to share some things with you guys. So first on the list, like let's talk about plastic surgery, can we? I will be the first one to say like, if you ever want to get work done, as long as you do your own personal research and stuff, you do you dude. I am an advocate of self-care. Like if that is your form of self-care, if that makes you find confidence, I think that it's fine. I also don't necessarily think that like you have to disclaim work that you've had done. Like forever. Every time I post in like maybe a bikini, I don't need to put a disclaimer of like, by the way, my boobs are fake. If you've said it once, I don't think you always need to like relive it. But if you do something that is going to enhance like your job, there's a certain level of like telling. If I were to get a BBL, I think that you guys deserve to know that. What I just used is my Tula filter primer. This has been my ride or die since it came out for Tula. I usually use the color Luna, but this is first light. I kind of let it sit on my skin, feel really good, and then I'll get into my foundation. Today we are gonna be using my makeup by Mario. I have the color 7C. I will probably mix that in with a little bit of my Tula Radiant Skin Tint. I have a little bit of self tan on my face. So I'm gonna use the shade nine and just add a little bit of SPF in with it. Like I said, if I were to get like a BBL, like you guys probably deserve to know that because I would be selling like workout programs, right? But other than that, I think like if you wanna keep it secret, I don't think anyone deserves to like know or needs to know. So what I'm trying to do right now is like preserve my brow. I've never actually done it like this. So like this might be a flop, we'll kind of, we're gonna kind of vibe check it. Yeah, I'm just going to the gym. This isn't like full glam, you know? This is my kind of everyday look. And I would definitely get it done much faster if I was not vlogging, but here we are. There's been this huge uproar lately of like plastic surgery. I swear to God, I don't know if it's just on my TikTok or if you guys are feeling the same way, but I feel like there's kind of this like resurgence of getting a boob job. And I kind of wanted to be honest with you guys like about mine. Most days I wake up and I don't remember I have fake boobs. Like I'm genuinely like, oh. Another day, another slay. But other days I really miss having a flat chest. I was made with the understanding that I would be built for speed. I wasn't meant to have weight hold me down. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm an athlete, I'm an athletic build. It's just like naturally what looks good on me. And when I got my boobs done, I was 23. I was still like very impressionable. Like I, I was definitely semi influenced by like the community I was involved in as a bodybuilding community. I wanted to have the look and especially because I was so lean, I knew that I kind of needed that look in order to 
make me look balanced because I was just so small. This isn't a bad thing at all. Like it was still 100% my decision. And I'd always wanted boobs. All of my friends always had boobs and I never did. And I always stuffed my bra. Like that was one thing I always did in middle school. I always kind of tried to push up the little girls that I had. I feel like puberty just kind of like didn't occur for me because I was always running around. Fast forward when I was finally in a place where like I could do it, I could afford it and I had saved for it. Of course I was like, oh my God, like let's ride. Like I wanna get my boobs done right now. Okay. The one thing I wish I would have done is like actually taken time to go through my console and then like think about it. But when you're there for a console, they kind of just get you to like schedule right away. Not in like a manipulative way, but you just kind of walk out so excited that you never really take time to think about it. Once I walked out and I remember making a video on my Instagram, like I went live and I was like, I'm getting my boobs done. Who was actually getting their boobs out at the time? I think at the time it was actually Courtney King who was getting her boobs out. And a lot of people were opening up about breast implant illness. It was like the worst time for me to announce that I was getting boobs because everyone was like, you're gonna get sick. <laughs> Who's to say I wasn't going to? Like, don't get me wrong. I was very aware of like what my body could do and how it could react, but it was just like, not it. I felt like I couldn't almost talk about it. I just did my concealer off camera. I did my Dior backstage. So I just kind of put that all under the eye here. Put a little dot here, a little dot here a little guy here and now i'm using my huda beauty powder in the color banana bread i don't even really know like how to do this let it bake for three to five minutes oh you let it bake i usually just dab it in right away i don't know i'm not really good at this part i always see people do this shit i'm just gonna copy them i do have to say this powder smells really good okay she said t-zone like how do you bake it when it just like already pats in like what do you mean excess powder it's all dabbing in these are pretty much the same products that i use every time i do my makeup as well upon my consultation to the point of getting my boobs done it was a total of like, I think three weeks in between. Like this is a very fast decision. I'm 23 years old and I'm like, let's just give me boobs. I had no chest because I had just got done competing. I actually think I got my boobs done two weeks after I went pro. So my body was so tiny. While I'm here, I'm actually just gonna like shape my nails up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel if I got my boobs out like today. Part of me just like doesn't want them anymore. I wanna make it very clear. It's not because I'm sick. It's not because I necessarily regret it. I feel like I'm in this point in my life and maybe it's when you like become closer to 30. Like you guys let me know. But I just don't give a fuck anymore. I went so long caring about what other people thought of my body because it's a part of my business, right? And I wanted to look the best and it's very much my personality. Like I like looking good. I like feeling good. I've just grown so much in my confidence. My self-worth doesn't necessarily come from how I look anymore when it definitely used to have a huge role. So now I'm kind of just like, why do I need this? Why do I need anything? I just don't need all the fake. You know what I mean? Again, this has nothing to do with like bashing people who choose to do it. I just wish I would have taken a little bit more time to learn myself. Cause I feel like as I've matured, I'm just like, you are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Instead of needing to feel that way with how I look, I'm just really embracing my natural era. A couple months ago, like you guys would not see me without nails on. I don't know, I just feel like I'm stepping into this part of me that I'm just, I'm really liking. Maybe you're there with me or maybe like you're working on getting there yourself. I'm gonna go in with my Dibs contour stick. Just kind of give myself a little bit of shape. I went ahead and used my little brush on the end of my Makeup by Mario contour stick to kind of blend it in. And I definitely, I added a little bit too much, I think, per normal, but I just put it like around my forehead up in this area, right on my cheekbone, right on my nose, kind of give her a little snatchery. And then along my chin, kind of like elongating the look of it. Did I say chin? I meant like my jaw, whatever. Is it my jaw or my chin? So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to kind of blend her out a little bit more. Since my beauty blender has like all of my products on it for my face, I just find that it helps my makeup blend really well when I use it because it already has all my other products on it. So I'm actually looking into going and getting my boobs removed. I probably will not do it until this summer, meaning like going to just get the console. But my biggest worry is say in like 10 years, one of my boobs explodes. Hopefully it wouldn't, right? I'd have to undergo another surgery. So I just feel like an explant would maybe make 
a good decision, but I don't know. I'm very much undecided. I want to make that very clear too. Like I just, I don't know right now. The confidence I have with boobs served me, but I just love myself so much more now that I feel like I don't need them, right? If there's one thing I don't regret, it's getting my lips done, getting Botox. I just put on my Lacombe, oh, Lancome. Lancome C-I-L-S Booster XL. This is what I do to kind of like tacky up my lashes before I go in with my mascara hack. And I'm actually gonna carve out my brows just a little bit underneath. I'm using my Kosas concealer for this. So I like to just take a little brush, go underneath it like this. I feel like this is what I see the makeup gurus do. And then I take either my beauty blender or another small brush and kind of buff it out underneath. I'd be curious, like, what do you guys think about all of this hype in plastic surgery right now? I just feel like everyone's getting work done. I even see people that are so, like, snatched and gorgeous. I see them getting liposuction done, and I'm like, hey, if that's your decision, your money, we cannot judge, we cannot say shit, it's not our life. I just feel like I'm seeing, like, so much work getting done, period. Not saying that it's not warranted or not allowed. Do I need to go get my nose done? Not really. I, I would never get my nose done. I've never thought there was an issue with my nose. I'm now going in with my Dior blush in the color 001 pink. Until I had people like make fun of me for my nose, I never thought I had a bad nose. <laughs> It's not like a current topic. I want to make that clear. It might be again. I don't know but people like flaming me saying I had a big nose and I was like really? I've never been told that. I think I, I think my nose is proportional. I don't know I'm not gonna sit here and talk about myself like that girl. I never thought that my nose would big. I'm going to use this glow powder shape tape um, It's kind of like a pressed powder in the color starlet from Tarte. I just like to use it sometime as like a highlight just got some snot on that. Oops. Yeah, that looks like really cute. Anyways, today is a random day, okay girls? I've had a crazy week and I just felt like talking. So hopefully now you know where I'm at with my idea of boobs. I feel like the first question is gonna be, would you suggest waiting until after kids, after breastfeeding? Honestly, yeah. And I say that for like multiple reasons because not only do I feel by the time you have kids that you'll be in a better decision-making place with your maturity, but also your body just changes so much. And this doesn't even have to do with breastfeeding. Like this is just, you know, pregnancy as a whole. And I just think that it would have been more beneficial for me to give myself a few years, especially with like where my body was at and how much it changed from not just competing, but then getting pregnant. It was just a lot. And I, I really wish that I would have given myself more time. Again, I can't sit here and say I regret it because I do love my boob. I feel like if you were to tell me tomorrow, hey Des, you have to get them removed today. I would definitely be sad. But that's why I don't know what decision I want to make or how I really feel. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about my mascara hack. <laughs> no, but to wrap it up, I really hope that that can shed a little bit of light on like where I'm at, where I feel like my journey has been, where it may go and just be like open and honest about it. I want to just reiterate again, for those of you who are choosing not to listen, I have not made a decision and I am not having any issues. It is simply because my confidence has come from elsewhere other than just my body. So speaking of work done, let's actually talk about getting my lip filler dissolved. I have a little bit of migration here in the top and on the bottom, nothing terrible, nothing extreme. Even my injector was like, I think you look great, but like I understand what you're feeling. So I'm gonna get this top dissolved. And I think that with a little bit of migration, my lip will actually like, flip back up, you know? Cause like right now it's kind of like being shoved down. I got my lip filler in 2019, right before my wedding. And I just absolutely love the experience I've had with it. It just gives me a little bit of balance in my face and I really love it. I just used my Grande Lash Heated Lash Curler. This is kind of my three step to full lashes. I do my booster. I sit at the base for like one, two, three and I kind of pull up. This also does not like burn your actual eye. I'm now gonna use my Ilia Limitless Mascara. This is my favorite mascara I've used since quarantine. But I also love for my drugstore girlies, this telescopic lift. This was like the mascara gate issue with like Michaela Najera and whatnot. But dude, I actually think this mascara pops. I also love that we never actually got an explanation to that. Like, did Michaela have a false lash on? Will we ever know? Anyways. 
all in all, like if you want to get filler, if you want to get false lashes, if you want to get your boobs done, if you want to get a BBL, if you want to get liposuction, if you want to get calf implants, which like, I feel like that would be next on my list, <laughs> you are allowed to do what you need to do. I just hope that people are truly questioning their intent of doing it because even my intent was in doing it was completely personal. I've always wanted bigger boobs and even this day, sometimes I wish I didn't have them, you know? So I couldn't imagine being, quote, influenced by maybe my favorite influencer, like, oh, she looks so good with fake boobs, I want fake boobs now. I just hope that we all have the ability to kind of like zoom out and take that big question of, do I want boobs or is my TikTok making me want boobs? You know what I mean? My biggest tip for that would be like, honestly, get off your phone, get off TikTok, go into the real world, stay off social reality, and question, do I still want boobs after X amount of days? And then my next big tip would be go get a consult, ask the hard questions, do your research. This goes for like anything, not just boobs, but like plastic surgery in general. And then walk out of your consult without a scheduled appointment. If you go home and think about it, then decide, do I want to move forward? And then go back. Schedule an appointment to go back and then ask yourself again, do I want to travel back to schedule this? If the answer is yes, then it's a hell yes. Go off, sis. But if it's a maybe, just wait on it. Titties will always be there. Noses will always be there. Lips will always be there. Botox will always be there. The only thing that I will say about Botox, filler, etc., is that this stuff is removable. You can go pretty much back to normal with that. Anything that you're putting inside your body, not only A, is a more extensive removal process, but B, it costs a lot more fucking money to remove than for this shit to just wear off. So those would be my biggest tips for you. And also just my little like experience thus far with having my boobs. I added just a little bit on my nose, high road highlight in my div status stick. Mascara, as you see, looks amazing. I love this little like shimmer that I use. This is from Sephora. It's in the color Nacre. Oh, wait, Nacre? Oh, it's, that's a different language. That's how you say shimmer in a different language. North 257, no place like home. That is the color. It's just Sephora brand, colorful shimmer. I think it's super cute. Also like, oh my God, my nails are so ugly. Definitely face does not match the nails right now. For my setting spray, I'm gonna go ahead and do my Urban Decay All Nighter. This actually has cactus flower in it and vitamin C, so it just feels really good. Whenever I spray it on, I usually do it before my mascara, I just kind of forgot, but I spray it on, I usually have a fan with me as well, so it doesn't like make my face super wet. Watch. And then I kind of just smell so good. Also, sorry if my lighting is like a little weird today. I'm down in my basement where like I'm trying to set up my like recording studio and I just don't have a lot set up yet, obviously. I'm working on the backdrop, bitch. All right, give me a little bit of slack. This is the finished look. I ended up topping it with my Dior oil in the color Berry. I really love this color. It gives like a little bit of like pop of pink. Also reminds me that like I need to get up and take better care of myself. It's actually crazy when you put on makeup, like how much of energy just flows outward. As much as I love my natural skin, putting on that little bit of pop just makes you feel really good. I feel like I'm gonna go now like have a really good workout. I'm wearing my Paragon top. I feel bad. Here I am talking about my boobs the whole time and you guys didn't even get to see that. In the color Antelope. Antelope crop top, Petula Cassie short. These all have come out by now. I'm wearing small in the top, small in the shorts. I love just being able to sit down and talk to you guys. And if you enjoy talking to me too, make sure that you listen to my podcast every Sunday, Brunch with Desby. The biggest takeaway from this video is not just giving you guys like a boob update, but also just remembering that decisions that you make when you are younger and this can go down to like the smallest minute things for the most part will not matter when you're older the small things that happen will not matter when you're older the confidence issues you might have when you're younger kind of fade away when you're older like there's so much growth and maturity that occurs for me personally as i stepped into motherhood in this new role and really tapping into like this new version of myself i've had to say goodbye to this past version of me and that's been really difficult and sometimes i do wonder like is that why some days i don't feel comfortable in my body because it doesn't it's not the same body and i'm still learning to love this new one as much as like someone might look at me and be like 
like, but Des, you look the same. It doesn't mean that I feel the same. And I think we also need to like value that about other people in their journey. Again, I just, I have no idea, all right? It's just something I'm thinking about, something I wanna share. Because when we're making these decisions, it's easy to like look at someone and be like, oh wow, but like they love theirs still. Because I know for sure people told me, hey, just beware, you might regret it after you have kids. And I was like, no, no. And now I'm like, they were right. You can definitely tell me I told you so. It's not that I regret it. It's just something that I wish I would have thought more about. But since I wasn't a mom, I didn't know what the fuck they meant. Like I didn't care. And I also didn't think that would happen right away. Comment below, like this video if it was a little chat that you enjoyed. Hang out with me every Wednesday. Be prepared for the glow up. This shit is gonna look better, okay? I promise. I love you guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss a video from me. And be prepared for every Wednesday for me to annoy you. Love you guys.